All right, in today's video, we're going to talk about Max Debug Logging and how to enable it uh, for the SWG module, uh, what things to look for to understand if it's really working. And at the end of the video, we're going to talk about how to disable it because it generates uh, verbose logs and you don't want to keep it running. So we're going to talk about all of this. But before that, um, a question arises, why do we need Max Debug Logging? When you're troubleshooting these issues, Max Debug Logging helps you out to understand the details of each step performed by the SWG module. The issues we're talking about are issues with the hot uh, spots, we kept to portal, ex external domain bypass list is not taking effect, um, intermittent DNS or web performance issues. So if you have the latest version of any Connect or Cisco Secure Client, the steps are pretty simple uh, compared to if you have an older version of any Connect or Cisco Secure Client, you got some extra steps in there and it's error prone as well. So um, yeah, we're on the latest one. Um, however, so one more point here, if you are using the steps uh, uh, that you use uh, on the older versions, those steps, uh, can work and will work on the latest version as well as of now when I'm making this video you can use those steps in the latest version as well however the steps that are used in the latest version the steps that I'm going to show you today cannot be used in the older versions of any connect or Cisco secure uh, client right so you see right now umbrella is active and I'm going to show you if SWG is working or not how to do that you click on um, the settings button first here, and then you go ahead and click on umbrella that you see right here, and you see that SWG is working fine, right? So let's go ahead and close this box. All right, so the first thing we need to do is we need to create a new uh, JSON file, So and we need to name it SWG, config override dot json so i'm going to remove txt and put json hit enter and say yes and hit enter again to open up this json file and enter the json code in here which is literally nothing but this level log level okay and then provide it with the string one not the integer and that's literally it. If you now go ahead and save this file, and then we, we're gonna go for the second step, but the file will contain only this much, and this is sufficient uh, to go ahead and enable debug logging, uh, the contents. However, we need to place this file in the SWG folder. This file can contain another configuration as well, which is called auto-tuning, um, which is used to enable or disable send buffer auto-tuning, but that's not really required. So I'm gonna press Control S, to save it, close the file. Okay, right now I have it right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up the SWG folder. All right, so we go to C drive and program data. Mind you, this is hidden. So make sure that you you know, unhide this uh, folder to go ahead and do it. Okay, and then you're gonna go to Cisco and then Cisco Secure Client. And then umbrella, inside umbrella, we're gonna have SWG and so on. So we're gonna to go to SWG. You see, we have the SWG config.json. With the SWG config override, the contents of SWG config.json will be overridden. And this file, the contents of this file, will take precedence. So I'm just gonna move it to the SWG folder and say continue. That's literally it. So this is the path right here all right so we're going to go ahead before going to the event viewer we're going to go ahead and um, stop and then start the umbrella agent well you can just go ahead and do it for the um, swg agent and that will be sufficient uh, let me just go ahead and do it for umbrella agent so i'm going to click on a restart and once it's restarted we're going to go ahead and check out the event viewer Okay, it has restarted, so I'm just gonna go ahead and minimize this and this as well. Umbrella is active right now. We're looking good. Okay, now that Max Debug Logging is enabled, 
okay, you're going to go ahead and reproduce the issue, go to the website or whatever issue you're facing according to that, go ahead and reproduce it. Um, in the event viewer, what we're interested in is the section applications and service logs. And under there, we're interested in the events uh, under Cisco Secure Client Umbrella. Before checking out the events, you can go to properties, right click on that and go to properties. And here, make sure that you have the correct uh, maximum log size uh, uh, mentioned in case you want to change it depending on the issue. Go ahead and do it accordingly. Once you've set it up, go ahead and click on OK. And then in order to make sure that maximum debug logging is working fine, go to action and then click on find. And then search for something like SWG hyphen, just search for the partial text. Um, it will be able to search it. If you get um, this kind of result, that means it's working fine. It, it's working perfectly fine. And the other text that you should be looking for, the other entry um, that you should be looking for is set GUID. So this is it. Once you find this kind of, uh, you know, these kind of events in there, then just you need to just go ahead and save it. Go to action again and say save all events as. Click on that and go to desktop and say some like maybe umbrella or whatever you want to name it. Um, it's going to be saved as .evtx. You can convert it into uh, .txt. Uh, I'm going to show you how to do that. So once I'm done with this, let me just go ahead and minimize it. So let's convert the evtx into .txt. For that, we need to go to PowerShell, and I'm going to start it as uh, run it as an administrator. So once you do that, um, say yes. And I'm going to copy the command and I'm going to provide it to you in the description below. I'm going to show you, I'm going to provide you a link to the article as well, where all these steps are mentioned. However, sometimes you might find it overwhelming uh, depending on, you know, whatever. So I'm going to share that as well in case you want to take a look at that. Um, so right click uh, to paste it. And uh, there you go, hit enter, and a text file should be generated, as you can see right here at the bottom on, on the desktop as well, right? You see the TXT files. Go ahead and share it with uh, the support. Uh, they'll be able to look into it. Also, along with the uh, Max Debug logs, provide them with the Dart bundle as well, in case you don't know how to do that. Uh, you can check out my videos. Um, I have not yet made a video on it, but um, in case um, I get any requests on how to do that, I'm pretty much going to go ahead and do it anyways. But yeah. Um, so yeah, thank you so much. I hope this was useful. Um, one last thing before we go, it's extremely important, and that is you go back to that folder in order to stop it. Uh, just go ahead and delete it. Once you delete it, say continue and voila. We're done. Max debug logging is disabled now. I'm going to close it, and that's pretty much it. Um, uh, thank you so much. Um, have a great time. Goodbye.